to week three. Today we're going to combine what we learned in weeks one and two together. In week one we learned the DNA knot that twists around and in the second week we did the square knot and we left spaces so that there was loops for the butterfly knot. So today we're going to combine those two. We're going to do a DNA knot and then we're going to do a square knot without the loops. Let's warm up our hands and get started. All right, same thing as last time. We're gonna take our guide and the color that you want to use and you're going to measure it, the new color that you're using against your guide and you're gonna cut yourself two new pieces. And again, you can use whatever color you want to use Then you're going to go ahead and put your guide to the side and take the two cords that you're going to be using for this round and you're going to loop them into the thirds again. And if you want to see this broken down slowly, um, refer back to the first week's video. And you're going to have one third in the middle and two thirds on the outside. So you're going to loop through the wood ring and pull through the knot so that you have that straight piece at the bottom. And make sure your two short pieces are in the middle and your long pieces are on the outside. You can put your two other tentacles to the side. So we're doing a combination of the last two knots. So you're gonna start with the square knot where you make a four one direction and then you make another four the opposite direction. And if you want to see that broken down slowly, refer back to week two. So we're going to do that a few times. And for this video's purposes, we're going to specifically do a certain amount. But if you want your sections to be longer or shorter, you can adjust the sizes. So for this one, we're going to be doing one, two, three, on each side, three straight pieces on each side. And then after the third one, you're gonna to continue to go in one direction, just like we did with the DNA strand from week one. So if you keep going in the same direction, the four, the four shape in the same direction, it's gonna start twisting. So twist for as many as you want, I usually, well, for this piece, I'm doing it twisted around once until the bottom is going to be flat again with matching the top section that you've done flat. So when you want it to stop twisting, you're going to go the opposite direction with the four to finish that square knot again. And now you're going to make another flat section. So back and forth with your fours going back and forth in opposite directions. And that's gonna give you that flat square knot from week two. You can pull down your other tentacles when you want to measure how far down you're going. So that first section, I twisted it around once. I think the second section, I'm gonna twist it around twice. So I'm gonna start twisting it. And whichever way you make the bar of the four cross towards, that's the direction it's going to twist. And remember, just like when we did the first DNA tutorial, you can twist that, that DNA uh, knot to be tighter or as loose as you want. So you can twist that, the section to make it spiral quicker. You don't have to have your flat 
sections line up just for this video's purposes I would like them to so I'm gonna keep going all the way around until there's a the bottom parts match up with my previous flat section And now I'm going to stop twisting, so I'm going to go against the direction I was just going, so I'm gonna put my four in the opposite direction. Another way to remember which way you're going, it, you can do right over left, and then left over right. Right over left, left over right, and that is the square knot. So you're gonna go and continue to do this until it's the same length as your other tentacles. Same deal with this, you want to let there be enough of your ends for the tassels to be made. So it looks like we still have plenty of ends for this strand that we did, so we're gonna keep it at this length. Congratulations on making it through week three. Next week we're gonna do our last tentacle before we move on to finishing the ends. It's my favorite knot, the ball knot. It's a really fun knot to do, and it's not that hard when we've built off of everything else we've learned. Tell your friends to like and subscribe, and come and join us on this fun adventure.